Good day and welcome back to the studio. Um, okay, I'm just gonna move this project out of the way. So we have a ginormous made in China box. That's pretty interesting, right? Turns out that Micromech decided to release a uh, L2 resin 3D printer. I think it's called L2. I just mailed them and asked, do we have a review unit? And they said no. So um, I decided to take some money from Amazon, affiliate links that you guys are buying from down below, and some AdWords from YouTube, and I bought it instead. They were kind enough to help out with a little bit of shipping, so that's, that's a few, few dollars. And here it is. I already opened it because it had a little bit of damage here, so I just want to check that uh, it was kind of still intact. But I haven't really seen what is what's inside, so what do you say? Shall we unbox it? Now, before you start watching here, just be prepared that this is not going to be a complete review. It's not going to be a complete video about getting this up and running and starting, because I don't even think I have the correct power supply. And since it's the weekend, I'm not going to go and get it. But there is a video coming, but the, this week is, is totally cramped with cold activities. So um, at least you get an unboxing and then you, you can just subscribe and add a notification down there. So you, we can make sure that you can see the final video later. But let's start off and see what's inside here. So we have some protective foaming, that's good. We have a note. Dear friend, thank you for your purchase. We, when you see these words, we beloved the packet must be flown over thousands of miles from China to your side. It's really good time for us. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, and there is a secret. We have hidden resin and color paste in every box. If you receive it, it would be a little surprise for you. But if not, the customs may have taken it. So they know that customs like taking resin, I suppose. But it's a, it's a good thing that they are warning that customs may have taken it. Uh, some more padding. Ooh, I'm starting to see a machine here. Hold some padding on the side. We got a box here. I'm gonna keep that in frame. Even more padding. Padding, padding, padding. Even more padding. I'm gonna start to shade with the lights here. So. Okay, I think we're, uh, I think we're ready. Ah, doo -doo. Ooh, it's pretty heavy actually. Let me see if I can get it. Ooh. There's nothing left in the box, so I'm just gonna drop the box over here. And there we have it. Ah. Okay, so let's start off with the small box and see what's inside this. We got a we got a USB memory. Cool. And a and a Allen wrench. And we got a power supply with US plug, China plug. Ain't gonna work in Europe, so that's I suspected that this was an issue, so we'll have to fix that later. Uh, this is 12 volts, 6 amps. Cool to know. And you know kind of like how much power is in here. So we have a lot of plastics. Let's uh, get that off. Now, this is supposed to be a SLA 3D printer. So that means that it's working with resin, but I'm not sure if it's a SLA or DLP. So, well, everyone's marketing SLA, but is it really SLA? We'll have to dig deeper into that later. So on the front we have a what looks to be a touchscreen. I'm pretty sure it is. We have on the back side uh, two USB ports. Let me turn it around for you, so you can see we have two USB ports and a fan, as well as power supply. But what's really cool is that we have a power supply up here as well. Now, what I've seen and what really caught my eye was that there's apparently curing lights. So when you're done with the print, you can post-cure models using the top lid. So I'm gonna see if we can... Hey, hey, hey. Wow. That's cool. All right, so if I'm correct, there's a tiny little lamp in there. I'm not sure if you can see it any of the cameras. Uh, but okay, there is a... UV LED it looks like but it's so tiny I'm gonna show you guys it later let's see if I can get some reflections on it so you can spot it it's in there I'm gonna get some b-roll for that okay <laughs> we got some resin oh look at this that is so cute as far as I, what I'm seeing on their YouTube channel you are apparently leveling this by dropping it down Ooh, we got some more resin another resin one says M, and one does not say anything at all. Interesting. So apparently, so the build plate here is, I think, loose. 
don't really know here. There's absolutely no manual. But you can take out the build plate and I think that what you're doing is that you are untightening these screws so this can move a little bit more freely and that's how you level the machine later. When the z-axis goes down or z-axis, I always get trouble with you guys because I'm not saying the correct thing. Now I'm not going to open too much here before I find some sort of manual on the memory card. But I do want to check out what's inside it. Okay, so we have a build, build volume. Great, uh, that's more or less the unboxing. Um, let me go some close-ups of this for you and shortly, maybe this week, maybe in a week, I don't really know, but really soon I want to get this going and see if I can cure some of this resin. And I'm gonna order some resin as well. So with that, I don't think there's much more that we're gonna do today. I'm gonna just show you here the images. I'm gonna show you some specs on the computer here on the screen, you know, high-tech editing. And uh, I'm gonna go get some power supplies and get everything in order. I'm gonna try the USB memory here and hopefully I can do a live stream for you guys where we set all this up. But that's gonna be sometime soon, <laughs> probably at the end of October. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let's see if this uh, sub $500 SLA DLP LCD printer is anything good. So hit me up with some models that you think I should try with this machine and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.